the Baroque music, you have a lot of gestures. And this was the, the, the starting point to, to, to change the interpretation of Vivaldi and uh, the Baroque music and the true big difference with the classical approach to the Baroque music. But let's say also in Haydn, you have a lot of gestures that uh, in a way are hidden. You have discovered what is uh, in Haydn, like in the Baroque music, you don't have uh, almost any indication, expressive indication. But this doesn't mean that they play without accents or without nothing. There was a kind of code to read this music. And this code, in a way, for the performers of that time, were clear. It was not, not necessary. It's not written, but in a way it was written. And also in Haydn, there is uh, the incredible art uh, to describe uh, the middle characters. So, you know, in music, it's not too difficult to make a furioso or a disparate things, but much more difficult to write and to perform uh, in a way that is uh, maybe melancholic uh, with a touch of happiness, for example, that is much more subtle than desperation or sadness. And Haydn music uh, tried to describe this uh, mood, these feelings of human being. In this music, where, where very often you can find a suggestion, extra musical suggestion that comes from the theater, from uh, kind of uh, extra musical ideas, uh, putting, for example, vocal music can help also to taste more, the, to have more pleasure to listen to the whole album not only in the way uh, we perform it, but also in the concept, how we organized the piece one after the other, and why we put one symphony after the other and not another symphony. And this uh, is, a, is a, the, the concept behind this idea.